What are the customs requirements for importing electronics from Thailand? Welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll be diving into a topic that many importers are curious about. The customs requirements for importing electronics from Thailand. Importing goods can be a complex process, especially when it comes to customs regulations. So, let's explore the key requirements and steps involved in importing electronics from Thailand. The first requirement you need to fulfill as an importer is to obtain a customs bond. A customs bond is a financial guarantee that ensures you will fulfill all your obligations to the customs authorities, such as paying duties and taxes, and complying with regulations. It acts as a form of insurance for the government in case you fail to meet these obligations. So, make sure to secure a customs bond before you start importing. Next, you'll need to engage the services of a licensed customs broker. A customs broker is a professional who specializes in customs regulations and procedures. They handle the necessary paperwork, ensure compliance with import laws, and facilitate the smooth entry of your goods into the country. Working with a customs broker saves you time and effort, as they have extensive knowledge of the complex customs processes. Another important requirement to consider is the Importer Security Filing ISF. The ISF is a document that needs to be filed with U.S. Customs and Border Protection CBP, at least 24 hours before the vessel carrying your goods departs from Thailand. The ISF includes information about the shipper, consignee, cargo, and other details related to the import transaction. Failure to file or incomplete filing of the ISF can result in penalties and delays, so it's crucial to complete this step accurately and on time. Now, let's move on to tariff classification. Tariff classification is the process of determining the correct harmonized system HS, code for your imported goods. The HS code is a standardized system used worldwide to classify products for customs purposes. It is essential to accurately determine the correct HS code, as it determines the applicable duties, taxes, and regulatory requirements. Partnering with a customs broker can greatly assist you in this process, as they have the expertise to correctly classify your electronics. When importing electronics from Thailand, you must also be aware of the customs duties and taxes that apply. Each product may have different rates, and it's important to understand what costs you'll be responsible for. Customs duties are imposed by the government and are based on the value of the goods being imported. Sales taxes, such as the goods and services tax GST, may also apply. It's crucial to factor in these costs when planning your importation. Product compliance is another aspect you should consider. Electronics, such as smartphones and laptops, may need to meet specific safety and quality standards. These standards aim to protect the consumers and ensure that the products are safe to use. Depending on the type of electronics you're importing, you might need to obtain various certifications, such as FCC, CE, or UL certifications. Last but not least, maintaining proper customs record keeping is crucial. As an importer, you must retain records related to your import transactions for a specific period of time, generally five years. These records include invoices, bills of lading, packing lists, customs forms, and any supporting documentation. Keeping organized and accurate records is not only a regulatory requirement, but it also helps you to efficiently manage your import records and facilitates any future audits. Thank you for watching. Disclaimer note below. See you next time, take care.